Hi, it's Nick here, and I'm so excited for this pro tip because it's how you can create section reveals on your Squarespace website using Squarekicker's sticky sections. And to do that, I'm gonna show you what this deck of cards, how sticky sections actually works, and how you can use sticky bottom to make section reveals happen. All right, so this deck of cards is representing your website. By default, the section at the top of your screen that's this one. That's always gonna be on the bottom of the deck of cards. And the section, of course, at the very bottom, that's gonna be this one here in the front. So the normal layers of your Squarespace site, as you scroll down the screen, will all have a default of zero. That means they all have essentially the same layer number, which is zero. And as you scroll down the stream, if you make any one of these sticky to the top, it's gonna be sticky to the top and the other ones are gonna flow on top of it. But if you do sticky bottom, the opposite happens. So imagine if you use sticky bottom on this section here, it's gonna be sticky to the bottom at the top of the screen and it's always gonna stay sticky there until you, until you reach the bottom of the screen and it will scroll away. Let me show you how this works and how this deck of cards comes into play. All right, so on this website, I can scroll down the screen and you can see that all my sections here are just normal by default. And at the very, very bottom, I get to the screen, I have a footer drawer reveal. That's not gonna be included in this tutorial, but if you wanna go head over to our YouTube channel and check out footer drawer reveal, you see how you can make this with one click. But the sections are just a little bit different. And let me show you how this works. So for this one, I'm gonna go right in the middle and I'm gonna go to my extension tools for the section click on advanced and then right here I'm going to click on section and sticky bottom. So sticky bottom works differently than top. Sticky bottom says stay stuck to the bottom of the screen until it comes into view and then scroll away. So if I go to the top of the screen and scroll down it will come to where it's normally positioned and then it will scroll away. But wait, where did my first section go? It was just there a minute ago. How come I can't see it? And that's because that second section is actually on top of the first section. And to see the first section, we need to bring that layer up to a different layer so we can see that on top. So to do this is a cool trick we have installed just for you called hide. It hides all of your Square Kicker styling elements. So to do that, you can click straight on the top SK menu, click on support, and right here it says hide SK customizations. When you click on this and you click on hide edits, it immediately hides all your Square Kicker styles so you can see all of your Squarespace site without Square Kicker installed. Pro tip, if you wanna to toggle this on and on quickly, hold down the option H key to quickly toggle it on and off. If you're on a PC, that's the Alt and H key. Cool, so I'm gonna to toggle this off and I wanna see all my sections now. And if I head over to my first section now, and I actually wanna bring this forward, right? So we're gonna to go to layout and we're gonna go down to section layer and bring up to one. Now what one is gonna do, it's gonna say, all right, well the other ones are zero, so one is gonna be higher than the sections below, so that's gonna put my top section in front. So now if I scroll down the screen, you can clearly see that this one is on top, and now if I scroll down, I can reveal a section underneath. Pretty cool, isn't it? I love this effect. So this is how you do a section reveal on any individual sections, but wait, how would you do this on every section across the entire page? I'm gonna show you just how to do that now. So first, I'm gonna click on section reveal for basically sticky bottom to all my sections. So advanced, sticky section, sticky bottom, and I'm gonna leave that to zero. That means the bottom of the screen is gonna stay sticky. And if I scroll down the page, I can see the next one here. So that's already sticky bottom. And finally, I get to the last one and do sticky, bottom zero. Cool. Now you can see that I can only see my section at the bottom, even though the other one is kind of scrolling, but it's kind of hidden. So I need to do the same exact thing and hit option H and I'm going to go down from the top and flip the section order. So the first section I'm going to lay out and I'm going to make this three because I always want that to be at the top and always visible all the time and option H because I want to get to my next section I'm going to make this two so I can force it to be the section visible layer 
And of course, the last one, the section here, I'm gonna do section layer one. So now I have three is my first one, and then my second is in the middle, and then of course, one is the bottom. And let's just scroll right back to the top, and you can see how easy this is to just scroll down the screen now and reveal all my sections. Okay, so one more thing I know you're gonna love is actually to add a border to the bottom of all these sections so you can see them scrolling up. So I'm gonna head into my section tools and then go to border. All right, so I'm just gonna choose to add the border to the bottom of the section. So I'm gonna deselect these other ones here and just leave the bottom and give one pixel. And I think I'm just gonna make a nice dark green color here. It's cool. So you can see that nice border at the bottom of my section there. And I'm gonna apply that to all my sections as well. So here we go. And border, one pixel, add it to only the bottom and green. And of course the last one here, green. Cool. So now I have this really nice border as it scrolls down the screen, revealing this crisp line between each individual sections as they reveal on my site. I hope this was really helpful for you to understand how sticky bottom works so you can create section reveals across your entire page or just a single section. Don't forget, sections are just like a deck of cards. The top section is actually on the bottom and the bottom section is actually on the top. So if you want those sticky sections to pop in front, use the section layer tool to instigate that pop up.